Hello and welcome back to the commentary for the DVD of The Tomorrow People. In the studio we have Mr Nicholas Young and Mike Holloway and myself, Peter Vaughan Clark, and I'm going to be asking questions about the next episode. Which is a bit of a recap, probably. No, it gets in. interesting, you see. We've connected. Yeah. I've gone off and saved her from being fried, basically. Mm -hmm. Right, yes, because you were up in the glider. I was up in the glider, and um, John, Nick sitting next to me, got there just in time to assist. You were, we were talking about Peter Webb at the end of the last episode because we discovered he directed this one. Yeah. Um, he was a brand new director, a young guy, and he was t tested in one of the earlier episodes that was in the White House in America. And he was allowed to practice directing on that scene, if you remember. I think Leon Thor or somebody was directing that scene. And they got Peter just to direct the American scene, just to sort of cut uh, his teeth right. on it. And I think this was, the, this was the first one he did on his own. He did a good job. Wasn't there a lot of directors that found their way through the Tomorrow People? Yeah, one or two lost them. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis Kirkland, perhaps, was the most famous. He did an awful lot of Benny Hill shows. Not a, not a great deal of difference, really, is that? <laughs> Same studio. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you know, that studio now is where they do Pop Idol. Is it really? Yeah. Because mm. it's uh, now... So, so Mike, Mike was 30 years too late then? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> never say never. Yeah. Never. He was in Bone Idol, wasn't he? <laughs> I fear that he is more worried about... Oh, he has got colour balls. They're just very pastel. Yes, yeah, mm. so they don't really show up on no. that, do they? No, he's obviously feeling peaky. It's a shame peaky. the tubes went, because it, it is a totally different designer. Yeah. It's not Harry. Let me go back on these recaps. Well, I love these bits of incidental music. There's about three notes in it. Listen, mm. two notes actually in this bit. Yeah. Do do. That's all there is, isn't it? It's all it is. It's very <laughs> sparse indeed. <laughs> Just one little oh. keyboard player up in the studio. Kiss it all. As I say, she got a bad sneeze. That must mean something in. No. This is she a thinks long, this is a I long am recap, Kishnu. It is another. Yeah. Yeah, she thinks you're a god, mate. She thinks I'm the god yes. Kishnu. Ah. And this is the problem, you see. And I'm the she... boy in blue here. <laughs> yeah, get some relish. That looks like it came from a set from some medieval castle. Very good set, actually. It looks very good. Yeah, it does look good. So now you know how the crash is done, you can have a look at the bits. Yeah, well, they actually did just take the wings took, took off. The wings and, off and them, yeah. And, I suppose that's it, how they transport them, isn't it? Yeah, but it looks... You've seen them on the road. They're a bloody nuisance. Long trailers. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there's your fist. There's your fist. There's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My word. They I should have know. at least put a jaunting band around that on the credits. Yeah, that yeah, would they, have been quite nice. Well, it's not nice. necessarily a tomorrow person's hand, is it? <laughs> or is it? You can explain this title sequence to us, can't you, Peter? Well, I remember doing it, because it's when we had that, um, when I was covered in white paint and then they projected that weird image on the, the lines, which they don't use in the, in the opening sequence. They, they, they sort of cut it out after I was. Oh, so you were overcome with the motion, were you? So, so, yeah, it was horrible, actually. It gave me out in a rash. Mm. But I do remember doing the hand So that's thing. what caused the rash, was it? Life. <laughs> <laughs> you can, at the time, you can get yes. cream for that. Yeah, yeah. I can get pills for that now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do. It is Kishnu! He fell from the sky! He has come back to us! Just in time. Now, where are you, Mike? I'm with Sutai now. I've just saved oh. her. So I'm just looking... one step uh, ahead. Rescue. So we're looking in the cockpit and you're not there. Oh, we've got an extra running on. What's happened to him? He's got lines. Thrown clear. It's disgraceful, you know, when you bear in mind that there was a union agreement at the time. All these non-actors they use. Ah. So he can't have jaunted. Uh. What? Uh, nothing. Spread up and let's look for But an extra saying <laughs> lines. Split up. Yeah. Yeah. Split up and let's I look for him. Whoever crash, you are. After a crash like that, he'd be pretty spread out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I managed to transport myself through. They are reborn. The gods are reborn together. Oh, dinner is served. Ah, and then how's he going to get out of this one? I am sorry about your aircraft, John. But do not worry, I'm... Oh, it was yours! Mine. It was all yours! Oh. I didn't realise that. There you are. Well, anyway, with a bit of telekinesis, I ought to be able to put the plane together. That shouldn't yeah, be a problem. Yeah, I thought so. Mm. I mean, if I can make a jaunting bench, I can make a glider. <laughs> Ooh, look at Ooh, look. hand on his balls. Mike, are you there? Yes, John. 
Are you all right? Oh. You? Well, I don't really know. I mean, You'd think the colours would start flashing when I put my hand on his balls, wouldn't you? They've got me all dressed up in robes and things. But how did you feel about this costume, Mike? Just, well, to be you honest, after, I think. you just went with the flow, did you? I kept it and I, I use it in Joseph now. <laughs> 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 it's far too good for Joseph, that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't very good to work in, to be honest. I expect you do. All that matters is you're one of us, and I've got to get you out of here before that lot get it into their heads to burn you again. That was a ceremony of rebirth. Of course it will happen again. It must happen. But now we must meditate to achieve the proper state of mind for the ceremony to take place. You're crazy! You do not wish to be reborn and to live forever? Seems very much like dying to me. During the years we have been lost. You see, the thing is, is that during this time, Nick's got such a good memory, uh, Peter, with regards yeah, to events You can't even remember your name. Because <laughs> I, was, uh, I was doing... I'm trying Peter, to, this one here, I'm trying to throw Peter into the conversation, yes. you see. Um, now he's the hand. I'm yeah, trying bring to, him yes. in. Bring him in. I'm yeah. still a hand, love. Yes. Just, to, I was, just to remind you, we're saying I had a good memory. Hmm. I was doing the other series with the, with the group, so unfortunately I don't have... A lot of I can't really remember this sequence. All oh, right. The last DVDs we did, I was really remembering quite a few. Of course. So what else was it you were doing at the time, Mike? Was it Pauline Quirks? Or? Doing Pauline's Quirks. Oh right. It was about what that time. Half, I yeah, she did well, didn't she? <laughs> but Pauline Quirks. We always say that. So <laughs> Ty, she is one of us, but she thinks she's a god, and she actually wants them to kill her. She really believes she's going to be reborn again. That's the basis of their religion, Mike. And was Roger around a lot at this time? Again, I don't think he was. I don't think he was around. Oh, was he Nick? Hat. Why not? What was he doing? <laughs> oh, he likes stroking his beard, that guy, doesn't he? Oh, his balls are getting a bit more flush so, now. Mm. You're not Kishnu. I don't know who you are, what you are. But you are not the god Kishnu. There's something else. Ah, you sussed you. brings only the seeds for destruction to our community. Go. I shall not stop you. Go as you came, like a spirit, into the air. No. How can you not remember doing this scene, Mike? You understand? No. <laughs> it just doesn't. No, it's, it's really a weird. The next one coming up, which is the Hawaiian one, I've got very fond memories, but this one I can't really pick up a lot of events at all. It sounds like, it looks like you only had two sets. The lab and this uh, one. There we go. Oh, oh there we are. Gun, guns as well. Wow. What's the matter with her? Oh, she's meditating. Quick, there'll be holes in me in a minute. Sutai! Uh, there we go. Sutai, come back to us! What's a Buddhist doing with a gun? <laughs> That's sort of against their... Uh... So we're at the beginning of the breaking out properly now. I see you're still wearing the costume there, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Quite happy to carry on wearing that, even yes. though you're not in the... Oh! What are you grinning at? I see you got your Chinese drag on. <laughs> That's good, actually. Yeah, I That's think, good. I think that was my oh, line, actually. Was it? Yes. <laughs> you slipped that one in. It's a very Drake James Bond line, that. Yes. <laughs> well, I was approached. <laughs> by who? <laughs> <laughs> well, not by Roger by Price. Roger. <laughs> I remember, you know what I remember about Mike at this point, was he came to the studio absolutely thrilled because he'd got one of these brand new watches. With a li oh. liquid crystal display on it. Yeah, the red and, yeah, LED. Do you remember it? I Mike? do. It's black with red numbers. You're right. Digital, digital watch. A rotary and, digital watch. And he watch. was so proud of it. And I thought, what is the point of having a watch? You've got to actually touch it with the other wrist before you can read it. <laughs> remember? <laughs> no, you weren't there, so people. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you, but you had to touch it to read the text. Exactly. It's totally pointless. Like to push the buttons. <laughs> um, but it was on the front of looking. There is... Um, what, your watch? Yes, mm -hmm. there is a close-up of it because it was revolutionary at the time <laughs> and I bought it in Kingston well, well, High Street. Actually, it wasn't revolutionary, that was the point, because the traditional clock was revolutionary and this wasn't revolutionary. <laughs> oh, it's, if you say so. You said that the gods have no real powers, that they are merely children. I may have been wrong. Once I believed... I garden. suppose this was 78, 79? No, earlier than that. Is it really? This is still about 77. We are now. Well, 78. 78, 78. Our, our, our studio uh, assistant here. Thank you for that. The T-boy has just chipped in. 78. <laughs> yes, I remember 78. <laughs> yes, they were I had nothing much to do, actually. They were made of baker lines and sort of rather scratchy, weren't <laughs> No, but tell me, Peter, at this time you were pursuing a... A pop, a pop. Yes. yes, that's wonderful. Mm. Good. Yes. 
Yes, we'll you were skip. being pursued as well, weren't I you? Was being <laughs> pursued and pursuing. OK, let's just let's <laughs> skip 78 then. Yes. <laughs> When, um, various parties in your garden. Various parties wonderful. in the garden. Yes, right. excellent. So, uh, had you actually released your first record by this time, Peter? I never released any of them. Didn't you? No. So George, George Martin, Sir George Martin, was paid all that money. To... Twenty-five thousand pounds, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't George Martin anyway. It was uh, George Fenton. Yeah, it was George Martin. George Martin owned the studios, and he came oh. in to listen. But it was George oh. Fenton that was doing the. Was it really? The producer. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's happened to those tapes? You know, I don't know. I mean, they'd be worth <laughs> five bob now. Yeah, easily. Yeah. I'd like to listen to them again because they're really Sorry bad. for twenty-five pence. For anyway, back to tomorrow, to, people. Yes, quite. Look, we've got a conclusion. She's broken out, and we've missed it. The only thing that makes us different is that we're a special kind of human being. Right. And then there were three. We are tomorrow people. When you analyse it, I mean, it's frightfully sort of specious and racist, this programme, isn't it? Because we're put up as being better than every other race on Earth. Well, you are. I mean, you call the saps. I mean, you're very derogatory to the normal human race. Uh, the saps are all right. I think, I think now we should write the word sap, S dot dot, don't you? I don't think we should actually say that word. It's very derogatory. Tell you what the tomorrow people are and how we came into being. What's nice, though, is that quality is coming across now. What, yes. the acting or the... Both. The I think it's or what? really quite nice, this episode. Yeah. I always preferred the ones that had a touch of realism in them, I must say. I mean, it's a believable story, isn't it? ...to protect us while we're surfing. A Buddhist monk tooled up. <laughs> That's believable. Last time, I have been meditating. Oh. And now I That's why he's got a smile on his face. Yes, yes. <laughs> what well, you can do it under those robes, nobody notices. <laughs> he's been talking to the Gahonzen, you see. The waste surprises the world with new scientific... So, Nick, when, when did you pursue your pop uh, career uh, after the Tomorrow People? Um, did, I prefer to keep my pop career to myself. <laughs> oh, I see. Actually, I was approached with Sammy Winwill in the very first series by a producer, That's but she, wasn't, she wasn't very keen on doing it. It was the King Brothers, wasn't I it? I can't remember. It was yeah. a shame. It was a shame. Um, so I've just played the guitar to myself ever since. Yeah. <laughs> they have stolen so tight from us. I did try and get into Flintlock, but they didn't want to know. No. Yeah. <laughs> they must be lucky. Obviously, didn't want any decent musicians. What shall we do, Mark? It was... Uh, it was a we funny old era, that, when everyone was on TV and we... I mean, obviously, you, might, you were in a band, so that was d a totally different thing, but when we were always asked to do pop, become singers. Yes. And I can't sing and I couldn't sing, but they still made me go through the But that's the whole... still the case now, but obviously then we were still ahead of our time. Yeah. Because they couldn't convert then. Now it happens as a matter of course, doesn't it, with EastEnders and... So, yeah. So why, why do you suppose, uh, Peter, that somebody was prepared to invest so much time, effort and money into you when They you saw some sing? talent which I could not they see. Saw, they, saw <laughs> some, they saw something we couldn't see. Thank God. Yeah. No, he was, he was good looking. He had a fan following. Yeah. He was hot out of a TV series Absolutely. and they're the ingredients you need to be a pop singer. Yeah. So yeah. one thing. But sadly, the other thing I, you know, I should have had was actually talent and voice. Yeah, yeah, that would have been which, good. But which... you had somebody backing you, didn't you? I did have someone mm. backing me. Yes, mm. my manager. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Not very he happy, chappy. He obviously saw you as an up-and-coming property of some sort. He did. Yes, mm. he did. Yes, he. Um... Yes. We were ahead of our time. We were ahead of our time. Yes, look at for those sure. little bull caps they're wearing. We've dusted them down a bit. And also, Tim hasn't had an awful lot to do in these episodes, no. which is unusual. I've noticed that for sure. He's normally much more involved in things. As I said earlier, I think it's, it, it basically was filmed on two sets and a lot of location filming. Mm. The location filming was obviously priority. But I think when you look at, if you analyse all the episodes, there are episodes where one character is doing a lot and another character is doing very little. Mm. I seem to remember in the German ones, didn't I spend a lot of time in an ice box? Yes, you to do. To being deep frozen? Yeah. <laughs> so, because, it's simply because the writer couldn't think of anything for John to do. Sounds like the black hole to me. That was another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just went on and on and yeah. on and on and on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the idea of doing two episodes, I think, is uh, as, a, as a, a complete story, seems to work a lot better than having four. You're quite right. For the Tomorrow People, I think yeah. two was, was enough. But we've got so used to the idea on television nowadays of seeing Coronation Street four or five nights a week or whatever it is. You have yes, to remember that there was a whole week in between these stories. And as people always said to me, I used to rush home from school to see the programme. Um, so it was a long time to wait, and you could, I think you could spin things out 
you know, longer yeah, to get away point. with it in those days. And there was only three channels. Can you imagine the Tomorrow People yeah. being on five days a week now. Mm. <laughs> Whole series would be over in two months. Yeah, yeah literally. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinary thought. Well, you never what what know. would you call it? Dead Enders now? Dead Enders, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was very tough. I am not a god, but the tomorrow people. Mm, they got their mileage out of this costume, that's for sure. Oh, Lovely really colours, though, aren't they? Beautiful. Oh, I've taken mine off, thank God. <laughs> You've got a root between your legs there. <laughs> yeah, did you notice that? I didn't. <laughs> we'll cut back to it in a minute. <laughs> Come on, BCUs. Yes, I was There weren't very many BCUs in this, because I don't think... No. Um, we should have... I don't think the director appreciated our... Our good, magnetic good look. force. No. No. Oh, Phil's our umbilical cord qualities. on the floor. Which is quite nice. They're going to be killed. No, they didn't. Um, Reborn. Well, they need the umbilical cord, so otherwise, there's, actually, no, yeah, there's no, got power. no power to it. No power, power to his control. balls. Yeah. <laughs> That's nicely lit. They're using the flame effect very well. Yeah, but you know, it's all too easy on television just to turn all the lights on. That just that yeah. gives a very and nice. Especially in those days, because the, yeah. the lighting actually was very basic. Yeah, straightforward. Straightforward key light and stuff, and they've done a good job there. I probably told you this boring story before, but I was in one of the early upstairs downstairs, which was shot in black and white, mm. for no other reason than the they had just introduced colour, and the technicians wanted more money for shooting in colour. They tried to persuade us that there was more effort involved in shooting in colour. Never heard such nonsense. That's but it sort of typified the attitude in the 1970s, you know. Mm. <laughs> oh, those stun guns! If you only had them now. But the ends kept falling off those things. Yeah, they were little plastic. Little I remember plastic things, weren't they? It was so annoying. Yeah, because it... when the ends fell off, because it, it inhibited the range of the thing, didn't it? <laughs> it didn't work quite so. I actually find fire. it quite amusing when you watch the news and they're talking actually about police using stun guns. Yeah. And then it's quite bizarre. Yeah, they'll be transubstantiating themselves shortly, won't they? Mm. <laughs> right, here she yeah. goes, first jaunt. Oh, nice. See, it's all based on Michael's wrist uh, watch, his new watch. That, yes. That, that that's gesture. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm not too sure it about It doesn't work. No, the belt was much better. You see, the shrine of the god Kaichu. No one here now. Oh, perhaps he's nipped out to local Chinese takeaway. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. These Look at that flat stomach. I don't write the lines. Thing? It's, uh, what are you Im doing? Impressive. So you're all right now, aren't you? The hair's the same. We're wearing well. Yeah. Look at the three of us. <laughs> Fantastic. And no, I don't think so. <laughs> and, and my, you're all right, Mike. I'm, You've got a picture in the attic. I'm, yeah. And my blue pullover still looks good on me, doesn't it? It does indeed. <laughs> the fact that it's an L instead of an M has got nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, you manhandled her. I did. Abusing women, that is graceful. Oh, dear. God, when he isn't having them in chains, he's frying them. Frying tonight. Yeah. Just in time. Just in time, but I'm going to let him just cook a bit more because he's not quite, not quite done yet. <laughs> a, bit more a bit more barbecue sauce, yes. please. Yes. <laughs> right, go to the greengrocers, get some onions. <laughs> yeah, the bit's fallen off the end again. <laughs> Mike's lost his tip. Oh, my word. Oh. Bruce Lee, where did you come from? Oh, yeah, no, I remember that. I remember oh. that. Because <laughs> they wanted me to jump off the end and do a sort of... <laughs> that's you know, those, those, this is based on that wrestler, isn't it? That uh, the masked. <laughs> that's oh, very good. Very effective. Oh, I've got my gun. Well, this is good stuff. Hey, I'm doing. Look, I fought them all on my own. I'm impressed. <laughs> What's that? What does a gong do apart from telling us dinner's ready? Ah, uh, that turns the gas off. Ah, oh, oh, he's John. to do straight away. That's quite a good effect, that green one. Yeah. The blue one was a bit pathetic, I thought. Mm. Yeah, they wanted me to jump from the top of those stairs and do a, a head roll. And I had a look, sort of did a dry run a couple of times and thought, I'm not doing this at any price. <laughs> oh, she... How rude. Why has she done that? Well, back cold. Mm. Come on, the dragon. Now, here we go. Oh, we're all You're all being fried. Again. That's I don't remember this. Yeah, I do, because that's the front cover of the book. Both, all of us. I would be foolish to seek to grow old and die a mortal death, O oh, wise one. True, Sutai. And now you can be reborn together alongside Keishnu. 
You could do one of those Shaw commercial deodorant commercials. Yes, just, just as yes. well, yeah. Yes. So you don't no sweat a... under the armpits at all. Right. See, that's two Despite... commercials you could have done. You yes. could have done the hair one and the yeah, deodorant the arm one. Head, head and shoulders and Shaw at the same that's time. very lucky, actually. You could have been the Beckham of your time. It was completely overlooked. Yeah, but where's Rebecca? <laughs> <laughs> Who are these guys? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't it you, Peter? Yeah, me and, Tuck, me and Dean Lawrence coming back Lawrence. going, right, we'll have them. <laughs> They'll come back in a minute. This Bunsen burner's getting a lot of money. John mileage. is being remarkably quiet here. I wonder if he's hmm. thinking of a way of getting out of this. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, done it, you see. Yeah, done it. Yeah. Just a chain oh, reaction. Oh, no, she's done it on her own. Chain reaction. <laughs> oh, no, uh, she's left us behind. Yeah, she's, she's Dear done me. a <laughs> Why am I not saying anything? Why am I just sitting there allowing You're my... unconscious. Oh, am I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's got two. Oh, get her. Hit the gong with a stun gun. Yeah. Oh, I've been into this mess. You are safe. I was in time. Look at him. Meditating again, is he? Nice. Let's get the other child gods out of there before he wakes up. Yeah. See, the, the metal, metal frame is not remotely hot. We can put our hands on it. Yeah. No problem it's, at it's... all. <laughs> He's realised he's made a big mistake. God, I wonder who wrote the words of this song. Where did they pick this song? That, that was that was recorded in the bar at Thames Television, I believe, about uh, twelve thirty at night from the camera crew. You came up with some gems. How did you know that as you weren't in the program? <laughs> no, I'm making it up. I'm going to quote you on that. Mind <laughs> you, he was in the bar, even though even though he wasn't in the program. That's right. So that he was up. listening, watching, yeah. eavesdropping, <laughs> making notes, <laughs> <laughs> seething outside by the other the other side of the river. You'll be able to read them on eBay next week. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well they didn't have DNA in those days. After, the, after Quart, the Thames fire. Is, <laughs> yes, how did that happen? Mm, yeah. <laughs> that was you and Monk Lester, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Please don't sue me. <laughs> that was the tax office. Anyway, we won't talk about that. <laughs> so, Burt Quok now has been made up. He's been promoted and the one with the beard is um, being demoted. There is much work there for you to do. You must go forth from the Temple of Shansu. Go forth and multiply, and yeah. offer your help to the people who need it. To the old, the sick... I can understand. Yes, yeah, so this is quite good. Where she speaks slower, it's lovely. No, you must do these things because you want to. Yeah. Because they may get peace yes. with yourself. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. I shall return. <laughs> so what happened to the old guy? What's he, he doing? He got demoted. Is he, he's sweeping up after yes, hours. Yes, he's yeah. now, now a, a barber. What's this? Oh, it's Tim singing. Good old Phil singing. Oh. oh, it's a fashion show. That's the new look suit tie. Now there's three in the lab. She's in a jumpsuit tie, isn't she? Yes. Is she, oh, small? I mean, she was quite a small girl, wasn't she? She was very small. Tiny. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go gliding. Yeah. God, I go from blue to green, don't I? Look at that. The blue wow, and the green. that is a... Well, it's very back in now, isn't it? Weren't we just trendsetters, I say? I knew there was a scene somewhere where I was holding the wing. You've been holding the wing a few times. And there it is. Well. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah, flying off into the sunset. Yes, but that's not you by Could have been so bank. different. <laughs> you could have been frying off into the sunset. That'd be quite amusing. They just don't tell you they're taking you up there and you're the pilot. That's the that's shot from... It's a different plane look, isn't it? Isn't that from the first glider? They all look the same to me, gliders. Continuity wasn't very good there. Well, that was a marvellous episode. Very well thought. A lost Nice gods. story. Masako Koba. So when does... Uh, Nigel come in. That's the Scottish one, isn't it? The Up Scottish one, yeah. On that's the... a bit later on. Yeah. Malcolm Harrison. There are some well-known And I don't think still. Roger's got any writing credit on this either. Why not? Because he didn't get it. He wasn't around at oh, this right. time. It just created, says created yeah. by. That's well, all he gets on this. But these. he wrote it, didn't he? Mm, don't well, he think so. He wrote all of them, apart from that tedious one where we were in the black hole. Who's directed this? Producer Vic Hughes. Peter Webb. I think he's a television commercial director now, actually.